Hi everybody, I'm Mrs. Serna, and I have my daughter here with me. This is Aaliyah. Say hi, hi Aaliyah. And she has her very own Nibbles monster. Show them your Nibbles monster. Nibbles, Nibbles, Nibbles. We are going to read you a book called Nibbles the Book Monster. Nibbles the Book Monster. Caution, this book bites. Handle with care by Emma Yarlett. This is a story about a little monster called... Nibbles! nibbles! Show them your nibbles. Nibbles, nibbles, nibbles. Oh no, we might have a book monster of our own. Oh, hopefully he doesn't bite me when you read the story. <gasps> nibbles likes to nibble soap, and nibbles nibble socks. Nibbles chomps on rubber ducks, and nibbles munches clocks. Nibble loves to nibble toes, and nibbles hook, nibble nibbles hooks. But Nibbles' favorite thing of all to nibble on is... Books! Oh, no. Where's Nibbles? He nibbled his way out of this book. Look at him eating all these books. <gasps> There's a hole in the book. Is his tummy ever going to be full? I don't think so. Whoa, that's a lot of books. He's gone. Look at him. He nibbled his way all on here. Look at those footprints. I think he's in a giant Can you property. see him? Do you uh, see him anywhere? Right there. <gasps> there he is. Oh, he nibbled right through the recipe for nibbles. Yeah. Uh-oh. Nibble has nibbled his way into someone else's story. I know what story he nibbled in. Him to Goldilocks and the Three Bears, because he's right there in the hole. Oh, no. Let's try to catch him. First, Goldilocks tried the big bowl of porridge. Yuck. Too salty. Too salty. Then she tried the in-between size bowl of porridge. Too sweet. Then Goldilocks tried the teeny tiny bowl of porridge, and it was monster. Burp. When the three bears came home, they were shocked. Someone's eaten my porridge. Someone smashed my chair. Someone's broken everything. It wasn't me. It was a monster. Oh man, do you guys remember that story? Nibbles has messed it all up. Poor Goldilocks, naughty Nibbles, has nibbled his way into another story. Quick, let's catch him. He went into Little Red Riding Hood. Oh, let's see if we can catch him. Help! Deep in the dark, dark forest, Little Red Riding Hood found Grandma's cottage. Help, stop that nibbler. He's just nibbled my granny's lunch basket and he nabbed my coke. Uh -huh. Little Red knocked on the door and went inside Grandma. Inside, Grandma looked very strange. I look strange. What about Little Red? She doesn't look right at all. Oh, Little Red, cute fluffy paws you have. What a rumbly grumbly tummy and what nibbly little teeth. All the better to nibble with. After a terrible hullabaloo, Grandma was set free from the cupboard. Let me in. This story is meant to be about me. My hero, thank you, Nibbles. Oh, Nibbles, you've turned me into a chicken. I feel so fluffy. <laughs> and the he kind of does look like the chicken because the shape of the <laughs> wolf. And the big bad wolf was never big or bad ever again. See him look like a chicken? Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dear Little Red is not happy. We've really got to catch Nibbles this time. He's making a real mess of things. Let's get him. But he's really, really not happy. Oh, no. Now he's in Jack and the Beanstalk. Let's see if we can catch him. He ate the corner of the book. Yeah. Maybe that's how he got in. Jack hid just in time. The giant was home. Mr. Giant stopped through the giant door and he sat on the giant chair, but something didn't feel quite right. He took a giant sniff and said, Fee-fi-fo-bum! Gasp! Tee-hee! Uh-oh, he nibbled his butt. Something just bit my bo booty! And they're running away with my goose! Mr. Giant tried to catch the that intruder and the golden goose. Come back here. But they managed to escape. I'm out of here. Fee, fi, fo, fum. I'll get you back for this, you nibbly hooligan. When Jack climbs a giant beanstalk in his back garden, he finds a giant house, a giant golden goose, and a gigantic grumpy giant. Will Jack set the poor goose free, and will he make it? home for dinner. Oh, hooray, the golden goose is free at last, and it looks like he's taking Nibbles back to his own story. There goes Nibble, flying away with the goose. Yay, the golden goose has dropped Nibbles back into his own book. 
Ouch. Thank you, Golden Goose. Now, quiet. Let's close the crate before Nibbles escapes again. Close them in there. Phew, well done. Now, you really mustn't take in your eyes off Nibbles. Not even for a second. Stop. Can you hear something? What's that noise? Nibble, chew, gnaw. Uh oh. <gasps> Nibbles! Oh no! Not again! He's gone. He nibbled his way right out of the book. Ah! There he is. Now he is wanted for crimes against fairy tales. We'll have to see if we catch him in the next book. Alright, guys, thanks for reading uh, Nibbles the Book Monster with us. Too bad he escaped in the end. Tune in next time and maybe we'll find out where Nibbles ends up next. We have two more Nibbles books to read you guys. Nibbles and the Dinosaur Guide. And we have Nibbles the Monster Hunt. So hopefully we can catch Nibbles in the act. Say bye. Say goodnight bye. everybody. Good night. Say goodnight with Nibbles. Good night. Good night. Hopefully we can catch him next time. Have a good night guys.